Hey guys, it's Amen with the LA Sentinel and we're here at the Essence Women in Music event. We talked to a lot of celebrities about their influence in music and we got a little insight about what is to come. Stay tuned. So we're here with Yara Shahidi and you are basically becoming one of the pioneers for the youth. Well, yeah, for real. I've been reading some blogs. I know, it's like shock. <laughs> I've been reading the blogs and a lot of girls look up to you. Um, how do you move forward in your career knowing that you are basically like a role model for girls after you? I mean, really, I think everything that we've done has really just been trying to be authentic with who I am. Um, you're even talking to my mother the other day. We talk about these things a lot. And I think what I love is the overwhelmingly positive response people have had to my character Zoe and that people have had to me in general. They've really supported me, which has been amazing and crazy. But it's really about choosing projects that have been right for me and it's not all acting related. I mean really what I love about 2015, 2016 is that I've really dove into the more humanitarian side of my work. I mean my aspiration is to be a thought leader and Blackish has given me such a lovely platform to I guess let my voice be heard and it's such a beautiful set to grow up on because it's one of the sets in which they basically enforce that there's no such thing as being wrong and I feel like in this teenage world of we're always so concerned with what everybody else is thinking and we're always surrounded by everybody else's opinion it's nice to grow up on such a welcoming set yeah and I have to say like I've experienced this with you before with saving our daughters that you have had wisdom beyond your years and who can you credit that to my mama <laughs> Honestly, like my mama, her, my papa, uh, the professor, my auntie, professor in social work. She just gave a TED talk. Check it out, Joan Blakey. <laughs> Drop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but honestly, I've been so fortunate to just kind of land in this lovely family of humanitarians. And what I love is that none of them are afraid to share their opinion. And what I love even more about it is that their opinion is always well thought out. It's never just in response to somebody or to just be right and I feel like there's something so important about learning that it's not always about being right it's okay to be wrong sometimes but it's really about believing in what you're saying of course so you know you're here at the music event who are you feeling right now <laughs> I'm, okay I'm such a nerd Hamilton Really? oh my goodness you don't even understand that's what I was playing for the past how many hours six hours <laughs> <laughs> I was on set doing schoolwork, had a fitting, still playing the music, as I was getting ready for the event, still playing Hamilton. Um, but I love each character. I mean, the Skyler sisters, uh, and then of course, uh, Lin Man Emmanuel Miranda, Leslie Odom Jr. There's so many talented people in that. And I mean, it's breaking down so many barriers, especially in the musical world. Um, but who else? Um, Beyonce, of course, and then Auntie is also a jam of course huh, I'm trying to think I'm I mean I'm so open in my music world where it's like I'll be playing country and then all of a sudden it goes to hip-hop and then all of a sudden it goes to NSYNC and then it goes back to hip-hop and R&B <laughs> yes. yeah so thank you so much for the interview and you know it's nice seeing you as nice usual